So something I've been doing every morning is I recorded, um, I recorded <laughs> my self-concept and I listen to it in the morning. Should I play it? I am the luckiest girl in the world. <laughs> I never need to worry because my angels are always watching over me. I attract wonderful opportunities every day. <laughs> every day is a blessing. <laughs> when I put my mind to something, I fucking do it. I fucking do it. Looks like it's gonna rain. I am beautiful inside and out. I'm excited about my future. If I'm being faced with an obstacle, it is to prepare me for something really big. I know that everything that I'm presented with is there to help me grow. And I'm so grateful for all the lessons and have learned to be present and know that I can trust because no matter what, I'm gonna be okay. No matter what, I'm gonna be okay. And there's so much freedom and joy in that. I make everything fun! Woohoo! Say it now, Shayna. I make everything fun. I I'm my own personal cheerleader. I treat myself with kindness. Mm -hmm. No dream is too big or out of my reach. I don't know how much I'm gonna be vlogging while I'm here. I really just wanna work on music and take a break, but I always say that whenever I travel and then I always end up vlogging because like, how could I not, you know? Um, yeah, I got in yesterday, it was like an 18 hour flight um, and I slept until like 12 today and my Airbnb is super nice. It's like a little old cottage, like right on the beach. And um, <laughs> I woke up and I um, danced and did my meditation. I'm trying this thing called like 30 days of lucky where for example, for 30 days, I sort of do affirmations and believe things are even better than like I normally would. For example, if I would say like, oh, this was like a good meal. It's like, no, this meal was exceptional or like, yeah, I'm sure things are gonna work out. You know, like I have a, um, a bright future. It's like, no, my future is a fucking miracle, you know, and just see how it feels after the 30 days. I'm sure I'll share more about that. But this morning while I was dancing, I look out of the corner of my eye and you see a snake in the kitchen. I just left it because I was like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Okay, hello. Hi. Do you wanna, like, how can we get you out? Well, is this a poisonous snake? I don't mind if it hangs out in here because I'm not like much of a like a, much of a cook anyway. So if it just wants to hang out in the corner and then I get this half, we're good. Um, I just don't want it to like slither in the bedroom. By the way, welcome to Thailand, y'all. Ooh, <laughs> got the beach. It's gonna be so good. Um, you know what? I don't even mind it. Let's leave it. Let's leave it and go to the beach. We'll deal with it later. We'll deal with our problems later. Yay! I'm just gonna leave it there and like hopefully, hope for the best, you know? <laughs> Let things go. I'm the only one on this, on this beach apparently, which is great. It's like so secluded. 
I'm going to put out my book. Put out my book. I'm going to put out my towel and read. Or write in my journal. Swim. The water is like super warm. In like a good way. Not like hot, but like nice and swim. supposed to be in here but I saw this mermaid and I really wanted to take a video of the statues and it's like a dragon and we have these ladies watching over the pool still no one in sight on this beach and I love I love these like random Wings in these trees facing the ocean. Should we go on it? I mean, duh. I think it's just like such a nice little gesture. If you haven't done this yet, I highly recommend writing out your self-concept, things about yourself that you wish to be true or you believe to be true, and read it every day. Yeah, what I like to do is I actually wrote these out, and then on my voice app, Dictaphone app, I <laughs> recorded myself saying them, and then I listened to them in the morning, and it's really fun. I'm trying my first green curry <laughs> that I've ever had. I'll have to let you guys know how I like it. Oh my gosh, I just left this restaurant. The best curry of my life. And the lady gave me free coconut ice cream. It was so cheap, it was only 200 baht, which is like six, five or six euro. Now I think I might go for a night swim. Oh! Obsessed with these giant red drapes. But also, this door does not lock from the inside, so I feel like every time I go to bed, I'm like playing Russian roulette, and I'm like, hope no one kills me in the night. <laughs> Morning, time to meditate, drink some coffee. We're like day three in Thailand and I'm still not sick of the beach. I'm not, I honestly love the heat um, because it reminds me of Florida where I grew up in. And today is the Sagittarius full moon. So I just plan to meditate. I've been really trying to meditate every single day. I haven't missed a day yet. And I just can see the difference it's making in my mental health and um, yeah, that was the goal coming here is to do like a little self-led art residency where I make music and I work on my spirituality and relationship with myself. I love this idea of creating like this sort of self-led art residency because I actually like all the art residencies that I've done have pretty much been like very independent. You're on your own, like they give you the facilities, but you are on your own and I feel like this was, being in Thailand is so cheap, I'm honestly shocked by the fact that you can get a meal for 5 euros a day. Yeah, so we're gonna go swimming, um, enjoy the, the beach, the very secluded beach, <laughs> and yeah, I am so obsessed with this Airbnb, these like big huge like red drapes every morning, it looks like so gorgeous with this light shining through. I did this really fun photo shoot yesterday 
where I pretended I was doing like this magic show where things were coming through the drapes. <laughs> That's what happens when you are one month on a secluded island and you have to entertain yourself which i think is really fun because it just shows our capacity when you when we are alone to find those fun little ideas like that's honestly when i feel the most aligned to my creative energy is when i just get like some stupid idea stupid in the sense of like it's silly you know what i mean and i just do it for fun because it reminds me of me being nine or ten and playing dress up with my friends and i just love bringing that energy to anything i do creatively i love that feeling of like this is just for fun and it always ends up being like the best pictures or like the best whatever um so update on the snake it's so that's the kitchen area very pretty but um i didn't ever end up getting the snake out so it's i mean i think it's probably still there somewhere look how cute this kitchen is i'm obsessed um so i heard that if a snake is in your house you should just like find out where it is and like isolate it um so last I checked it was over there. I'm just not going in the kitchen that much because I'm not cooking. I'm going in making coffee real quick and then leaving. Um, so I just figure if it can find its way in, it can find its way out. You know what I mean? Um, so we're just, and obviously this has been a problem before because why else would they have duct taped the door like that? <laughs> like all the cracks are on the door. I've literally seen here, okay. So I have seen a snake a day at least. Um, only one in the house, thank God. Now I'm just kind of used to it. It's like, it's whatever. May the chips fall where they may, you know? What are you gonna do? I'm lucky, I'm protected by my angels. But yeah, the Airbnb is messy right now, but like this is a view of it. I love, I really love like styles from the 60s and 70s it has like this sort of like old-timey feel to it so yeah it's gonna be a really good day yeah i feel like at some point if i get bored of my surroundings here and i'm like over oh, going just to the beach every day then maybe i'll get a scooter and try to explore a bit but i just feel like for now i'm just a very uncomplicated gal in that sense i like to go to vac on vacations and have zero stress i like to just do the least <laughs> and Next week, I'm going to start working on um, demos. Like I said, I'm on vacation, but I'm still working. I'm still editing videos. I'm still doing like all my regular Patreon stuff. I'm still designing my journals. But I think like one of the pluses of the jobs that I do is that I can do it from anywhere. So I'm like, why not? All right, let's start meditation. You're doing everything you can not to meditate today. Watching YouTube videos. Um, I'm, I'm feeling resistance is what I'm feeling. It's just hard sometimes to get started in the morning. You know what I mean? <laughs> I believe in myself and my dreams. She gives me free desserts and <laughs> I release all limiting beliefs. I release all fear. I make choices from a place of love and not fear. And I think there's freedom in realizing that like... If you can be happy where you are right now, in the state you are right now, you can be happy anywhere, you know, in any situation. It's not when you achieve this goal that you're gonna be happier. If you are going after a dream, it's to expand and to grow and to experience that journey of adventure. But it's not to become happier because happiness, it's a state of mind that you have to sort of lead yourself to right where you are. And the way I've done that is through meditation and journaling. Like I think a lot of people will go crazy being alone like really alone on a secluded island for a month 
but I feel so happy because I'm able to find that within myself and I feel really strong because I know that no matter where I am, no matter what situation, I could be poor as hell, which I've already been in my life, or I could be on top of the world, and I know I will have this home base. I think it can be really painful to be a human, not in the sense of like it's sad, but it's very like raw, you know what I mean, to be human and feel all your emotions, and I think that's why most people turn to vices, for example, alcohol or, you know, even like good vices, for example, sports. It's because the day-to-day -day of being a human, it's like you have to release that tension somehow. And I'm trying to build those good habits uh, instead of turning to bad ones. So, yeah, remember your life. There's this awesome Buddha quote, which is like, if you knew how perfect your life is, you would just throw your head back and laugh. And I wrote that down in my journal the other day, and I'm like, yeah, like, nothing is difficult, everything is easy, life is magical. Like, there's nothing to worry about. Worry about. You are, whatever you dream of, it's already done. It's already done, you know, whatever you want in your life, whatever you desire and want to believe, it's already done. I'm a hot and sexy bitch.